What is going on guys? Welcome back to a new video on how to create a seek bar in Android Studio using Kotlin. In this video, you and I is going to build an awesome seek bar. And this is where you can interact with any value in your app. A seek bar could be used in a lot of situations. For example, you can use seek bar to increase or decrease the volume of your app, or even it could be used to increase or decrease the brightness of your app. And this is really useful for you to understand how it works so that you can implement it. So first you need to create a new project, go to file and then new, click on new project, click on empty activity, then click on next, name your app and click on finish. So once you have created your project, go to activity main.xml and then hide the sidebar and click on split so that you can write your code here. So first you need to edit this text view. So let's add an ID for it. And the ID would be something like volume and change the text from hello world to 25 and increase the text size to 42. So text size to 42 SP and this is it. And now you need to create a seek bar under this text view. So let's do that seek bar and then for the width match parent and then for the height go with the wrap content. Do not forget to add an ID to it. So the ID would be volume seek bar. And once you have done that, you need to add a minimum and maximum values. So for the minimum, we will go with zero and the max should be 100. And we will have a progress of 25. So as you can see, we got the seek bar started from 25 and we can give it a margin of 30 dp. So let's add some constraints to the seek bar so that we push it from here to there. So let's add constraint top to the bottom of the ID of this, which is volume. All right. And then let's add constraints right to the right of parent and then constraints left to the left of parent and obviously constrain bottom to the bottom of parent. And that's good. So let's run our app. All right. As you can see, we have the seek bar with a number. However, the seek bar is not synchronized with this value. And this is what we will do next in mainactivity.kotlin file. But before we go to mainactivity.kotlin, if you are interested on how to change this color, it's really simple. You can go to project and then go to your app and then resources and then values and go to style. And now you can change these colors to green or whatever colors you want and then go to custom and then pick the color that you want. So let's change all that to this color. All right, so let's run our app one more time to see the result. Awesome, now we have changed the color for the entire theme. So let's go back to mainactivity.kotlin. This is where we will sync seek bar with this number. All right, so hide this for a moment, go to mainactivity.kotlin and in mainactivity.kotlin, go to on create method and then find the ID for the seek bar, which was volume seek bar and then add on seek bar change listener to it and then create an object and the type of the object is seek bar and then bring on seek bar change listener. And now we have an error because we need to implement um, some functions. So let's bring all these functions in. All right, once you have implemented the three methods, the first one is on progress change. And this method is used whenever a change happens, it will keep track on the change. So we need to sync this number with that in this function. And I will be explaining the other two functions in a bit. And now you need to get the ID for this text 25, which is volume. So just type volume and then go to text. All right, we have a progress argument here and this is where it will keep track the value of the seek bar and this is what we want. So progress and then we have a mismatch type and this is a string, but the progress is a number. So we need to cast it to string. All right, I think this is it. But before we run our app, we need to get rid of these because this will cause us an error. So let's run our app one more time. All right, so if you drag the seek bar, as you can see, we are able to sync this value with this number. And this is it. You can do whatever you want with this variable. So let's talk a little bit on what is on start tracking touch and what is on start tracking touch functions. So this function will track the start point of your touch and this could be here. So 52 would be the value for on start tracking. So whenever you click on this, 52 will be stored in this function 
and you drag it up to 72 and 72 would be stored in on stop tracking touch and these two functions could be used to identify the difference between the change and we can actually try this out as well so let's create two variables start point and we will set it to zero and then end point and we will set it to zero as well and here we can update the value for the start point so start point is equal to seek bar and then we need the progress for the seek bar so if you see an error here because this could be actually a null so we need to put a checking type so if the seek bar is not null then do this and we need to do the same for the endpoint so endpoint is equal to seek bar and then we need the progress and same for that we need to check for the null and once we have done that we can simply make a toast notification so make test and then we need this activity and then now we can subtract the endpoint from the start point so endpoint minus start point so that's changed by that many percent and you need to have a toast of length short and show the notification so to see the result just run your app one more time so at the start of the app we set it to 25 so if you increase that up to let's say 50 as you can see changed by 25 percent and these two functions are really useful especially if you want to track the change that happens on the seek bar I think this is it. So guys, if this is your first time here and you want to learn on how to build mobile applications, web development and programming tutorials in general, please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything. So see you guys in the next video.